let's install Linux in Windows 10 using the official Microsoft step-by-step -step guide. Link is in the description of this video. We will be installing what is called a Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL2. It's recommended for its better overall performance than WSL1. To begin with step 1, we need to run this command in Windows PowerShell. Run PowerShell as administrator. Then paste the command to enable WSL. Before we update to WSL2, we need to update Windows to this build number. Run Winver to check for your Windows version. Step 3 is enable virtual machine feature in Windows. By running this command in PowerShell. A Windows restart is required afterwards. Step 4 is to download and install the Linux kernel update for WSL2. You can copy the link title and use it as the package file name. Step 5 makes sure that WSL2 is used when Linux is installed. By running this command. time to install Linux. From this list of Linux versions, I choose Ubuntu 18. It's actually a Microsoft app. And it's downloaded through Microsoft Store. It will install after download is complete. On running it, I got this error. If we go to the troubleshoot section, we'll find what this error number means. Here it is. CPU virtualization needs to be enabled. There are two places to enable virtualization. First, in Windows Feature Panel. Here we must turn on the Hyper-V feature. If a Hyper-V item is grayed out, it means that virtualization needs to be turned on in the BIOS setup. For SUS motherboards, this is where to find virtualization. It's called SVM mode. Going back to the Hyper-V feature, we should now be able to enable all sub-items. To run our Ubuntu app, we can find a shortcut here. No more errors. Do not use uppercase letters when creating a username. Installation has been successful.